Hi everyone, welcome back to another one of my cryptocurrency update videos and I'm going to be covering XDC today. Um, I've been busy with work and stuff so I haven't covered it for a few days but we're back today so let's take a look at the chart. So I'll have a look on the daily first just to start off with because if you remember in my last video I said we've got a head and shoulders pattern here. I found our target and look at that, we hit the target exactly on dot. That target was at 0 0.06 cent so that's brilliant obviously it's to the downside but it still hit our target so it was validated now we need to see what's going to play out here and what i'm thinking is well we had a big wick to the top here so we could get a slight relief rally but i do believe we are going to be heading down to this support level here at 0 0.048 cent for xdc obviously the reason i think we're going to have a relief rally to the upside is because we're quite extended still from our moving averages so if they can head down and we can meet them there we're either going to get rejected or we're going to get above maybe then we'll get rejected from one of these two moving averages here so we've got to see how that plays out obviously i don't know exactly what's going to happen there with that but we can see here that we have if we just look to the left remember look to the left that's where you find your clues and the structure. And we can see here, when we reached this line down here, we had multiple um, touches and a bottom and out structure as well, W pattern here. So we could be coming down to here, W pattern or a bottom and out structure of some sort to then head back up again. Obviously, let's add some fibs now on the daily time frame. Okay. I'm gonna go from this swing low here to the swing high up here. It's just a smaller fib for now. Okay, so. It looks like we've kind of bounced in between the 1 and the 1.272 and we're using the 1 as resistance and we know when you lose the 1 and use it resistance you come to the 1618 and look at that the 1618 lines up absolutely spot on with this very key area of support down here so for me it looks like we're definitely going to hit the 1618 down here so look out for that 0 0.048 cent mark great buying opportunity but then we need to see what happens after that are we going to lose and come down down to these levels here or are we going to come back up work on our way back up the fibs so let me see if i can find a bigger fib to put on so if i could go i could go from down here to up here or from here to here but i think i'm going to go do a big fib and we'll see where we go so i'll keep that fib on there then i'm going to go from swing low to swing high it's quite messy i think i will get rid of this fib for now we know the 1618 lines up here anyway Cool, so, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry guys, actually I'm going to bring it up to the this level here, there's a lot more area of support here than down here, cool, so we bro we lost a 0618, quite evidently there, we lost that, so that's obviously then conf confirmation to head to the one level minimal, so our, zero, our 1618 level was here and I think we are going to dip below, we could wick down to the one, so that just lines up at 0 0.045 cent for XDC. So I do believe, obviously, we're definitely coming to hit. This is in my opinion, so I obviously, I'm saying definitely. I don't exactly know, obviously. That's just what I'm seeing from the charts. It's a very high possibility. So I do believe we're going to be heading in this area here. Maybe we'll consolidate here for a while. If we lose the one, we know next it's the 1618. And that's a 0.018 cent. Obviously, I don't want us to go that low. But if it does, it's we're still in a bull market here. So we could just have, this is a corrective phase of a bull market still. Obviously, if we go down here, like, you know, it's not great signs. If the one, we could come to the 1.272, which I think would still be quite safe there. The 1618, it, we're going to free fall because look, the next support is down here, literally at the 2.272. And that is below, that's a 0 0.007 cent, which I don't believe is we're going to hit that those levels right now. I mean, I think we're definitely going to come to the 1. If we do lose this, I think, I do believe we could get either stopped out of the 1.272 or the 1414. Obviously, if I don't say a price, guys, all the prices are on this side. You can see that if I touch there, you can see the prices. So if I don't say them, just look to the right of the screen. But yeah, so if we lose this, if we can hold this, we're good for continuation. If we lose this, I think we're going to be stopped out at any one of these levels before coming to the 1618. This would be a, a low, a low of the low, if that makes sense. Hopefully we can get stopped out here. Anyway, let's just um, head on to the four hour. That's all for the daily, really. But it's quite interesting still. So it does look like we've got some sort of like ascending triangle pattern here. But I, as I said, and that could be give it that could be confirmation that we're going to have a little relief rally here. 
And then if we just get a target for that. Oh, let's put that a little bit lower on the breakout line. There we go. And that will take us to about 0 0.076 cent. If we do have this relief rally, I do believe we're going to hit our head on the 200 to continue down as well. But obviously, we need to break this first. And if we lose it, come back, hold us resistance. That's when we'll go to the 1618, which was at this level here. Um, so this could this little relief rally could end up being a really positive thing. And we could end up getting above the 200 and holding the support and getting above these key areas here. But in my opinion, I think we're going to come back up, relief rally up, hit our head and then roll back down. Of course, that's I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I don't want to be bearish um, at all. And if I am bearish, it's only for the short term anyway. So I'm not saying we're in a bear market right now. I don't think we are at all. So that's the four hour really, guys. Obviously, it could also be an M top here as well. So it, it obviously, obviously you can see so many patterns inside. I'll keep that target there. But if it was an M pattern here, all you do is, oh, all you do is measure top to bottom, break out on the neckline. you got a target and pre pretty much it'll bring us to the 1618 down here at this really key support level area. So that would also make perfect sense too. Oh my goodness. So yeah, guys, we're just going to look out for this 1618 here, see if that can hold. If not, we'll come to that one level, which was around here on the on the daily time frame. But you can just go back and look for that if you need to. Could We have a really friendly target up here as well. So it's 0 0.076 cent. So that's it for XDC today. I'll keep you updated, guys. Um, just subscribe to my channel, like, and please comment down below because it really helps with the algorithm and stuff for YouTube. And anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.